Hi and welcome to this screencast. In this video I'm going to show you how you can install Windows 7 on your Mac. I'm having here a MacBook Pro with Mac OS X Lion installed. And for this uh, video uh, you will need a DVD with Windows 7, you will need a USB drive or an empty CD, and that's basically all. Oh, of course an internet connection but I assume you already have that. Good, let's get going. Now I'm in my personal user here and everything is set up in Danish but I'll just translate what you need. The easiest way to get started is to go up in your Spotlight search fields and search for Boot Camp Assistant. It's a little utility that's going to help you install Windows on your Mac. Now, the first uh, window you'll click Continue. After that it'll give you some options. Now, of course, you'll need the latest software for Windows support from Apple, and you'll need to install Windows 7. Now, I'll just show you uh, this download latest software, because i already done that. You click Next, and you get the option to burn it directly to a CD or a DVD. Um, it fits perfectly on a normal CD, um, uh, or if you have a 1 gigabyte USB thumb drive or larger, you can just archive a copy to an external drive click continue and then you can just choose where you want to save it. Now when you click save it's going to download and it takes about half an hour but I've cheated a little bit here and I already have the folder that it downloads. Now for this to work properly uh, you need a USB drive uh, that's FAT32 uh, formatted so I'll just quickly show you how you can do that. The easiest way is to go to your Spotlight's uh, search field and search for the Disk Utility. And from here you can choose your uh, thumb drive, your flash drive, choose the uh, format uh, pane here, and then simply just choose an FAT formatting. And the reason why you're using uh, FAT is so you can write to it from Mac and read it from Windows. It'll only take a couple of seconds. And you'll have a nice and clean drive. <clears throat> and there we go, finished. So I'll just drag my folder over to my thumb drive. Good. So that'll just take a little moment copying over. In the meantime, you can easily put in your Windows 7 Home Premium DVD and I'll just check install Windows 7 and click continue. Now my next step here is to choose how much space on my hard drive do I want to set aside for this. I'll get information about how much space is left for my Mac and how much free space there will be in this partition and how much space there will be used for my Windows partition. Now I'm just going to set it here around 29 gigabytes for my Windows partition. That's going to be plenty for what I have in mind. Now I'm just going to pause the video for a moment here and click on this button install uh, and then I'm going to switch to my video camera and in a moment this, can, uh, this is going to, when I click install, it's going to partition the hard drive and the partitioning it will make the computer seem like it freezes. So don't do anything to interrupt it, you'll just trash your hard drive. Okay, so now my Mac is finished partitioning its hard drive and it decided to automatically reboot. Uh, now, before you begin the actual installation of your Windows uh, on your Mac, it might be a good idea to remove any of your external hard drives, and that includes the uh, thumb drive that we uh, use to copy the drivers over to if you used one of those. There we go. Then we choose our language to install. Now, I have, I live in Denmark, so I'll just choose that here. There we go. Click the next button. And uh, of course, every good user reads and agrees to the software license, right? Now, here we have all the partitions on your hard drive. Now, here it is exceptionally important that you choose the partition called the Boot Camp. When you choose it, you click this Drive Options Advanced over here, and then you choose Format and click OK. If you do not do this, this installation will not work. And when it's done formatting, you just hit the next button. 
And there we go. The Windows installation is now flying and it will be so for the next about half an hour. So maybe now it's a good time to go grab some coffee or go for a walk or whatever you want to do. So now Windows 7 is fully installed and uh, it's time to set it up. Now I'll just type in my name here so I can recognize it and I already have a PC so I'll just type Mac here so we don't get any name conflicts. And if it seems like my mouse is moving a bit funny, it's not because I'm clumsy on my trackpad. It is simply just because that the mouse is reacting that way. Good. And we click Next. Good. Now, this is the Windows um, uh, settings for automatic update. And I always choose Ask Me Later, so I get to choose whatever I want. And there we go. It's now finalizing my settings and probably, yes, there we go, starting up. Meanwhile, we can insert the USB that we was using to put our drivers on. Now, if you burn to a CD, I'll just show you how you can eject your CD since that won't be entirely normal. There we go. And I'm just getting this important browser choice stuff. I'll just close that. Now, if you have burnt this to a CD, I'll just show you how you can eject the DVD that's currently in your computer. You need to hit the start button and click computer. Then click on the drive and up here you will see an eject button. Like that. And right out of the computer should pop a DVD. There it was. So now it should recognize my USB drive in a moment. Let's see, it supposedly it recognized something. Let's just try and take it out and put it in again. Great. Things always go bust when you make a demo. Thank you. Good. And here we have our Windows support folder and we'll just run the file called setup. And of course, click yes. And that should get started installing all the drivers. Should be arriving an installation guy here soon. Just get rid of these. There it is. Click next. Accept the software license. Click next. And install. Now this is going to take close to half an hour again, so I'll just uh, pause my video camera here and return when it's done. Good, now the installation is finished and we can click the exit button. And of course, yes, we do want to reboot. Of course, now your system is running Windows 7 and um, should you ever want to change that, you can hold down the alternative key on your keyboard and on the screen you will get these uh, three hard drives where you can choose Windows or Mac. This will only be effective uh, one time, uh, so that means if I choose Macintosh now, the next time I reboot it will be Windows because that's what I've last set it to. Now if I want Windows to be, uh, sorry, Mac to be my primary, I'll just show you how to do that. Now the first time you launch it you'll get this little bootcamp help assistant up here. Just close that. It'll basically just tell you how things work. Now, if you want to reboot back into Mac OS X and set it as your default launching operating system, show the hidden icons and find this um, square here. And let's see if I can right click here. You can choose reboot for Mac OS X and it will set Mac OS X as your default. And of course here with the bootcamp control panel, you can administrate uh, some of all the settings on your computer, like the trackpad, set tap to click, dragon, secondary tap, stuff like that. And secondary click, all these things. And I'll just show you if you reboot into the Mac operating system, how you will set Windows as your default. And here we are back in Mac OS X. Now, if you want to set it to reboot as default into Windows, you'll open up System Preferences. There we go. And then you pick the Start Drive here. 
and then you can select when it's done scanning here boot camp windows and click the reboot now button here and then again there and now you've set windows as your default operating system and if you only want to boot into either of the operating systems once and not changing your default just hold down the alternative key on your keyboard before the chime comes on, comes on. there it was I'll just wait for the icons on the screen there they are and now I can let go of the alternative key on the keyboard and choose whatever I want to start in. Now, thank you for watching my video.